Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at how I help John with his ICF block hot tub. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so before we get going, now is a great time for me to say, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification icon if you want to be notified when my videos go live. I put two long form videos out every week and there are a whole bunch of shorts going out as well. So there's loads of free content that you're able to subscribe to. So hit that subscribe button and it just gives me lots of motivation to keep making these videos for you. So for those of you that are not familiar with the blog and this channel, we look at all things DIY hot tub and plunge pool related. Now, John is a case study and his journey actually started back in December of 2021. And he actually started on my DIY hot tub course. So it's a online course that teaches you everything that you need to know about designing and building your own DIY hot tub. It's the exact process that I use when I help customers with their custom designs. It's all available online. There's over 40 different lessons, two and a half hours of content, and it's a great way of learning everything that you need to know. And this was where John started, and I'll actually put a link to the course underneath this video. So once John had gone through the course, the next stage for him was actually to start designing his hot tub. Now, he wanted to build it out of ICF blocks. So if you're not familiar with ICF blocks, this is what they look like here. ICF is an insulated concrete form, and it's basically a, a polystyrene with a rebar structure inside. It's what I call really big Lego blocks, and they go together super quick, they're really nice to work with, and the benefit of them is you've actually got that insulated or that R value that's gonna help keep the heat in your tub or your pool. So John adopted to build with the ICF blocks and everything was going nice and smoothly for him. Once you've got those blocks in place, what you then do is actually fill them with concrete. So you've got then the structural integrity as well. And what John did was John managed to do a monopore, which is where you pour everything in one go and you don't have any dry joints at all, which is a, a pretty smart way of doing things. It is a little bit more difficult and depending on the concrete guys that you use, uh, they may or may not be able to do that for you. Now, John's guys weren't sure that they were gonna be able to manage it, but they did, and the end result was pretty cool. So, once John had those ICF blocks in place, and obviously he'd fitted the plumbing before then, the next thing for him was the waterproofing. And this is kind of where things sort of didn't fall apart. Well, technically they did fall apart, but it was a, a glitch, shall we say, in the process for John, and he was a little bit stuck at this stage. So what happened was he applied a waterproofing agent. He then filled, after he'd left, let it dry, of course, he then filled up the tub to test everything. He wanted to actually use it and get in there, and he did. Everything was working perfectly. All of the parts I supplied him uh, all worked super well together. Now, issue that he had was he started to feel some kind of bubbles underneath his feet on the uh, on the actual surface. Now, unfortunately, these weren't bubbles coming from the blower. These were the waterproofing that was lifting off the ICF blocks. And this wasn't great because it meant that John, as you can see here, he had to drain the pool and he had to remove all of that waterproofing. There was quite an expense there that he had to uh, basically remove and throw away. It didn't bond properly to the surface and it meant that he could have repaired it, he thought, but it would have left that sort of niggling in his mind that at some point it was gonna fail again. So he, he decided to strip it all back. Incredibly frustrating and quite an expensive process for him as well. However, he redid the waterproofing. He actually used a different material this time and he's finished the build off with mosaic tiles. So what does it actually look like? Well, here you can see the final pool and how good does that look? Beautifully offset against the red brick of his very English country home and the greenery of the English countryside. 
it looks absolutely fantastic and John's done a, a really, really good job there. So for John, it was a process from start to finish. He started with that online course. He then came to me for the part supply. I coached him through the build and the configuration of the kit and the end result is a hot tub that looks fantastic and of course it works perfectly. So if I can help you in any way with your DIY hot tub or plunge pool project, then please do get in touch. I'd love to hear from you. Hit me up in the comments, get in touch via the website. And of course, I'll get in there one more time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this on helping you with those DIY plunge and hot tubs. So as always, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.